This is my daughter-in-law's car. It's a 2001 Malibu. 3.1. Basically, they're piece of shit motors that Chevrolet made. My son's been working on this thing for, well, he started on it last week because he works weekends. He's a paramedic. But now I'm a good mechanic. And he come out here and put a timing chain on this car because it jumped timing and went to start it. It wouldn't start, so we figured it bent the valves. We pulled the heads off and had a bent push rod and some bent valves on the exhaust side. So we got a set of heads for it. About five o'clock this morning, he fired it off. Runs good. So we got all that taken care of. He's gonna get over here today after he gets some sleep, and he's got to put the wheel back on. As you can see, you have to take all this out just to get to the timing chain. And anybody that owns one of these cars. You have to pull a motor mount off to change the serpentine belt. So if you're on the road and timing or your serpentine belt breaks, you're screwed unless you got a floor jack stick under your motor and change it. And then motor mounts are pretty stout to get the bolts off, so be ready for an expensive service call to break a serpentine belt. So make sure you keep a good one on them. He's going to get over here today and get his wheel on there, and he's going to get out and test drive his car and see how it does, but it runs great. It fires off. And it just sounds good. Crank it up right quick. Not bad. He's going to get out here today and finish it up and test drive this thing. See how it goes from there. So Y'all enjoy my video and just a few tips on the Chevy if you got one. Always keep your serpentine belt good because you do not want to be on the road when it breaks because you got a service call to come get you and one hell of a damn bill to put one on. Y'all have a nice day.